Hello, my name is Nikki Fry. I am a certified nurse practitioner and the founder of Fry Health Services. This video will demonstrate how to self-administer a subcutaneous injection. A subcutaneous injection delivers medication into the fatty tissue just below your skin. We understand that giving yourself an injection can be intimidating, but please do not fret. It is very simple and the needle is tiny. We have had so many patients nervous about this process and then talk to us afterwards saying it was so easy, quick, and painless. So we are very hopeful the same will be for you. First, you will need to set your medication out on the counter so it can reach room temperature. This typically only takes approximately 20 minutes. Allowing it to reach room temperature will help prevent discomfort at the injection site. Next, you will need to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 30 seconds, or you can also use hand sanitizer and rub it into your hands for 15 seconds. Then you can assemble and check your equipment. The medication we offer comes in a vial, so you will need to draw up your medication. If it is a new vial, you will need to remove the safety sticker. Next, you will need to clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol pad. Then carefully remove the cap on the syringe and pull the syringe plunger back until the air in the syringe equals the volume of the medication to be withdrawn from the vial. For example, if you are supposed to inject 10 units of medication, you will draw back 10 units of air into the syringe. The top of the black stopper should be on the 10 unit mark. Now, insert the needle into the vial. Inject the air. Invert the vial and withdraw the prescribed amount of medication. Again, for example, if your dose is 10 units, draw back the medication until the top of the black stopper is at the 10 unit mark. Be sure to keep the needle tip below the level of the solution while you are withdrawing the medication so you are not drawing back air. Withdraw the needle carefully. Tap or flick the syringe to clear any air or bubbles at the top of the syringe. Carefully cover the needle by scooping it back into the cap. Now you can pick your location for your injection. Injection sites include your lower abdomen, at least two finger widths away from your navel or belly button, the front of your thigh, or the fatty area to the back of your arm. I do not recommend injecting into the back of your arm unless someone else is doing the injection for you. Make sure to avoid areas where the skin is red, irritated, bruised, burned, hardened, scarred, or has lumps or stretch marks. Also, it is very important to rotate injection sites each time so that your skin stays healthy and can absorb the medication appropriately. After you have picked your location, you will need to expose the site and clean the area. Use an alcohol pad to clean a two inch area around the site you have chosen. Begin at the center of the site and move outward in a circular motion. Allow the site to dry completely. Allowing the skin to dry will help prevent stinging during the injection and ensures your skin is clean and germ free. After your skin is dry, remove the syringe from the cap. Then hold the syringe in your dominant hand. Use your other hand to pinch one inch fold of skin. Make sure the angled or beveled side of the needle is facing up. Then with a quick and smooth motion, push the needle into the skin at an angle between 45 and 90 degrees. Release your skin and begin injecting the medication. Inject the medication by pushing carefully and slowly on the plunger at the end of the syringe. After the medication has been administered, remove the needle gently at the same angle it was inserted. Hold an alcohol pad over the site gently. Do not rub the area. Check the area for any bleeding or bruising. Bleeding is not likely, but if there is any bleeding after 15 seconds, cover the area with a Band-Aid. Do not put the cap back on. Dispose of the used syringe in a hard container. You can purchase a Sharps container from Amazon or certain drugstores. 
or you can simply use an empty milk jug or empty laundry detergent bottle. Be sure to mark it appropriately and to keep it out of the reach of children and pets. After two hours, check your site for any redness, irritation, bruising, or swelling. If any of these signs are present, please notify us. If you have any questions or concerns at all, please contact us. We want you to feel well-informed, supported, and comfortable.